Denzel Mims, a New York Jet. How's that sound? Has it sunk in yet? Uh, it's most definitely sunk in. I'm, I'm proud to be a Jets, and I can't wait to get to work. What have these last two days been like for you and your family? Uh, it's been pretty nervous for me. Most, uh, myself, it's been pretty nervous because I'm um, in this process. You never know where you're going to end up at. And um, I didn't know where I was going to end up at. And um, I felt to, to be a New York Jets, and I'm, I'm proud to be a New York Jets. When you got the phone call, what was that like for you? Uh, I always said that when I get the phone call, I wasn't going to cry. But when I got the phone call, I did share, shed a few tears, you know. But, I mean, I got back locked in, you know, and I just stayed in the moment. What do you know about this New York Jets in this offense? Uh, I know that they got a great quarterback, you know, and I, think, I know they got a great offense, uh, got an offensive side of the ball. And um, I feel like I can come in and do and fit right in with them, especially with a great quarterback like Sam Darnold. I was going to say, what? How excited are you to work with Sam Darnold? I'm um, very excited. I mean, uh, we already we already had conversations already. What were those conversations like? Is he so excited to get that weapon he's always he's, he needs? Um, I can't get more into detail <laughs> about that, but I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to work with him, and um, I'm pretty sure that he's excited to work with me. What can you bring to this offense? Uh, I feel like I can bring someone that's going to make plays, whether it's the ball in my hand or not. I mean, I'm going to block for you. I'm going to be that be that person that <clears throat> you want to do anything for you. And um, I'm I'm an unselfish guy. I'm a team player. I mean, I love to win. I'm going to score a touchdown and catch the ball for you. What did you learn from playing at Baylor under Matt Rule? Uh, I learned to be a pro. I mean, everything we did there was always to be a pro. He was all, he taught us always to be a pro. And um Right now, um, I just try to be a pro in everything I do. I try to be elite in everything I do. Obviously, this is unprecedented times. You won't be able to meet with Sam or really the offense, only uh-huh. virtually. How do you plan on, like, approaching these next couple of weeks? Uh, I'm going to be on the phone with Sam doing all the time. You know, I'm basically going to be, like, you know, my best friend. I'm going to try to come become his best friend so we can build that bond and build that relationship. Who's, one, some, who's a receiver that you've, like, kind of patterned yourself after? Or someone you like looked uh, up to? Really didn't. Um, I really didn't pattern myself or, or, you know, try to put myself like someone else. Game. I always wanted to be my own self, and um, just you know, I want someone to be like, oh, I want to be like Denzel one day, and so you know, I just try to do that. Best advice you received through this whole process? You know, just be in the moment. Control what you can control. You know, don't get too, don't get down, don't get upset when things don't go your way. I mean, God has a plan for you. Are you gonna be able to sleep tonight? <laughs> Uh, Most definitely. Most definitely. Well, congratulations, Denzel. All right. Thank you.